He's on that rattle. There we go. <gasps> Woo! Let's do some fishing. <laughs> okay, we're going to a little place called Antelope Lake. I'm disclosing that this time. Stop whining. You're wrecking your shots. I'm disclosing it because last video, the DMs are freaking harassing us. Where are you? Where are you fishing? Come on, guys. We can't give the honey holes up all the time. Maybe later we'll give you hints, but probably not. So, the lake we're going to, it's got pickerel and perch and jack. I think there's perch. I may be lying. But we're gonna, we were here once before, we didn't get nothing. The last couple times we didn't get anything where I was going. So we're gonna, so we're gonna target fish, anything big. We're gonna take anything today because I wanna get some fish. I'd love to get some pickerel. That's the plan today? Okay, enough talking. The dog needs out, he's got a peach, he's starting to whine more than average. So let's get going. Look how much stuff I have, this is ridiculous. Like, you kidding me? Why does it take so much stuff to do this? guys we're just getting set up I got about four or five holes dug over there it's about 20 feet here I'm just gonna throw this down really quickly with the minnow head on it and jig I know it's not the proper setup I gotta uh, bring up another one with the swivel up on top to get rid of that snap swivel but we're just trying to set up really quickly and see if we get anything so this is gonna go with John Jar. the other way get get okay get this set up with you man nine feet 12 feet And for the next rod, we're just going to use this rattle bait here to try to call them in. So that's the plan to start with. We need fish. I'm looking for fish to eat. We're going to starve. See anything? Dog's even crying. I'm not catching anything. I'm upsetting my dog. Oh yes. He's on that rattle. There we go. He took that rattle bait. <gasps> oh, what a nice walleye. Come here. Yeah. He heard that rattle as soon as it went down. Can you get me my pliers? They're in my, the, the regular one. Oh, what a nice one. Yeah. About eight hours. He's a good eater size, man. Back, Jess. I seen him just turn right red. Uh, I have another slender spoon with a rattle in it. You can try. Yes. Want to see me lip it? Yeah, <laughs> see, watch this. See, watch Look at this guy. Wow, what a nice fish. Sweet. Well, we got one. I can do a catch, well, not a cook one, but catch and clean. It's awesome. As soon as I went right down there, I could see him went right red at the bottom and he just sucked that thing right up. Ah. Here's this guy. About eight hours. What time? It's probably been eight hours since I've been here. What a nice guy. Ah. 401, bro. We'll just measure this guy real quick, in case he gets dark. Let's see what he is. Let's see, he's flat here. Stay there. Jess, oh, pretty well, we're on 18. Nice, what do you think, Jess? Not bad. Not bad. And this is the hook I started out with and went right back to, it's just a rattle bait. Buckshot rattle bait. I'll show you the front color. That guy. And Ryan, ha what's that app called? He has an app called Fish Angler, and it shows the times when they're supposed to peak. And it was right when it was supposed to peak at fours when that fish hit. So maybe I'll keep trying that. It's pretty cool. 
Come on. You're missing all the fish. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. Spilt my fing last coffee. Get out of here, you bad dog. Oh, man. All right, guys, so that's gonna end this video. We didn't catch much today. I got that one fish, not even really a bites. So we didn't mark very many, but we're gonna end this video with the cleaning, and that's about all I got for this video. So I'll see you when I get to the garage. All right, guys, so we just got back to the house. We're just gonna fill that fish now. I'll show you how I clean it. There's many ways to do it. This is the way I do it. I'm not the fastest, but I'll get it done, and usually I get no bones, so. That's kind of the main thing. I'm probably gonna make this into another video too if you guys are just watching just how to clean a walleye because we didn't catch much fish today so I'm wasting everybody's time to finish the video with this. So, so I'll show you how I clean a fish. Okay, so the first thing I always do is sharpen these knives because they're absolutely garbage and I haven't found a good knife. Every single thing I buy, I always have to sharpen it every two to three fish. But it stays really good for one fish and it's terrible right after. Don't get it. Trash. So I'm not much for uh, explaining stuff, I'm pretty bad at it. But what I do is you go behind the fin, you kind of on an angle going straight in to hit the bone, and then you turn it back and go all the way down the spine. You flip it, do the same thing on that side. And then there's a couple ways you can do this. I change the ways I do it now. So after I cut it in and then we cut away or cut it into the bone and then start going back, you try to keep it right on this side of the spine coming back close as you can. When you get to the ribs, you'll feel the ribs. Then you slowly just peel and fillet it right off the ribs as you go. And then you get past the ribs, you push the knife all the way through, and then you go straight off out the tail, following the spine, and you will feel it the whole time too. So I hope that made sense. I'll, I'll explain it more as we go. Okay, so I move the angle a little bit, and hopefully the lighting's okay. So I just go behind the fin on an angle, and then you can, if you go kind of in with the scales, it's easier to go. And you just keep going until you feel the bone on each side. Make sure it's all the way through. You'll feel it when it's stop when it bombs out. You flip it over, do the same thing. All the way through behind the fin, go down. Whoa. Just like that until you feel it. Now, what I was saying, we just work our way back with the knife going this way. You don't want to go through the ribs, you'll feel them go on top, then push it through. Oh, I'll show you as we go again. So kind of get in there, get in there, start turning the knife, and go back. Just go slow. Yeah. You feel it go. And you got to be careful. You just don't, don't want to go. You can go through the uh, the spine if you have a sharp knife, which we do not. So you got to be careful that way too. And when you get past the rib cage, got to be careful. It's probably about there. Then you got to push it all the way through like that. And then you follow the knife. I think I went through the spine. No, oh, I did a little bit. So you gotta be careful. And then follow the spine all the way back and out. And you'll follow it. Oh, I didn't go through the spine. I thought I did. That's my bad there. Of course, this thing's dull. <laughs> it's not gonna go through. So now, I hope I can feel. I'll kind of. Oh, this is really awkward because I'm gonna. Try and, oh my gosh, can you guys even see? Yeah, I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna do, this is backwards, this is actually backwards, but you can maybe see a little better with the lighting. So, you just basically go down, and you can, if you listen when I'm doing this, you can hear the spines. So that's it. You feel it, you just keep going down. You can see I'm close, slowly getting, I hope the, I'm terrible at explaining and lighting, ah! <laughs> So yeah, you can see I'm missing the spine, or the ribs. Just keep going down, just like that. It's slippery, this is really awkward. I don't hold it this way, but I'm trying to do this for the video. So you slowly go down, just like that. It's really not hard. You do a few, do a few of them, you'll get the hang of it. Oh, just like that. Pour all the way through. I'm just gonna switch hands for a second here. Way easier. Just keep going back, 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 back. Here we go again. Just 
like that. And then you get past the ribs, you can tell. It goes like that. And just go down further. You get a little more meat, not much. And then pull back like this. And this is the one step. So it's, this is a good size. Smaller are a little better to eat, but I didn't get only one, so I really want to eat some uh, walleye or pig girl, whatever you want to call them. So that's that side. And you can see we did it perfect, went right down the spine. I thought I went through it that one part, but I didn't. And here is all the ribs in here. Can I see? I see all the ribs. Okay. So now we flip it over and do the exact same thing. And now it's really backwards, but actually it's easier for you to see this time. So same thing, you can tell, you go about an inch or so and you can turn the knife there and then start coming back. And it's easier, I think, if you put your hand like this, especially in the video, I'm trying to, it's really awkward. And go down the side of the spine. You can feel it, go slow. Just like that. And then put the knife up through and you're past the ribs yeah. like that and then you tilt the knife this way to get back on the spine and go all the way up and you can feel it you can hear it too and rope shut the door please Lawson if you're going out so same thing try and do this for you guys can see it easier it's backwards entirely for me so it's really weird the way I'm holding it because I'm trying to have it on for the GoPro. Okay, so same thing. You just got to keep feeling it, and you'll feel the the ribs, rivets, whatever you want to call them, the ribs, just vibrate when you. <laughs> you have the feeling of it. You know what I mean. Like I said, I'm not for explaining stuff. Keep going. Keep following them. I think my big head's in the way. I couldn't really. I think that was blocking the light. So I'm trying to angle the fish so you guys can still see it the best you can. Just that. That. Maybe go down. I'm holding my the knife like a pencil, but it's actually working pretty good. I could have got a little more there, but the ribs are pretty well right there, so I could have got a little closer there. Mainly because I'm kind of holding it awkward for this, but it gives you the idea. And then, go like this. Just like that. Yeah. And that takes care of this guy. So it's pretty good. Got pretty well all of it. We can throw him out now. So this is the cool part. I love always, I really like doing this part. It just feels awesome. So you got to get as close as you can to the skin. Start it without cutting your finger. Ah, uh, could have got a little bit of there. And all you do is just get to the bottom of the skin, the scales. And then if you got a sharp knife, which this isn't, so it makes it a lot easier, but you just kind of wiggle the knife, and then it takes all the fillet right off. Hang on. Oh, it's kind of slippery. Kind of awkward to hang on to. Yeah, we have a new furnace. Okay, and you go like this. Keep wiggling it, wiggling it. You're still in shot? Okay, good. Go like Daddy, that. Hang on a second, please. Supper's ready. Yeah, well, not this supper yet. <laughs> Go all the way off no. like this. The real supper. Keep wiggling it like that. Okay, see ya. And that's there. It takes it off very nicely. And this is one done right here. Really nice size one too. And if you if you yeah, I always check to make sure bones like I am really usually pretty good. But you can feel too if you did cut it a little bit late. Or cut it a little bit off or whatever. You know what I mean. Just feel it. Feel it. You'll make sure there's no bones in there and there's not. So that's one done for that guy. And I just put a little pail. Same thing again for this guy. And if you, you probably already noticed if you guys haven't done this, but the ribs are right here. We just kind of, that's where we got them out. So same thing. Get your finger close. Oh my gosh. that and I got this the, don't worry about the fans you can cut them off before you do this too if you want or just keep going around like that and just peels off like it 
Pretty sweet. That's the funnest part to do is that part. And we give her a little rub down. Make sure no one's going to choke. Uh, yeah. Feels like we got everything out of there. I just always double check just to make sure because they're like little needles. And that's pretty well how I always uh, fillet a uh, walleye. Well, it's exactly the same as a perch, exact same structure. Like jack and um, like trout, they have pin bones. There's a second little thing you gotta do. It's easier to explain it or in another video, but that's about it. Nice size, really nice size fillets. And I love them just in flour and oil. That's it, simple, amazing. So this is sweet. So thanks for watching once again, and I like wasting everybody's time. That's how I do walleye. If you guys like it, subscribe. We'll try and do some more videos when we get more fish. Eh, they're not biting much right now, but it's still fun to go out. So, see you guys next time.